Welcome to another episode of Hot Rod City. Um, I'm taking a break from the main garage today. Well, just in general. I'm kind of honestly getting sick and tired of working. I, I get sick and tired of working on the same thing for too long a period. So, which is probably some of the reasons why it takes me so long to finish things. But, it's not that I don't want to work on the garage. It's just, um... The garage is far enough along where I can actually start putting some stuff up inside the storage area of it. And the tents that you see behind me, one here, one here. This one is like two and a half years old. This one, if you guys remember, I just put it here in the springtime. And uh, as you can tell, there's not much left of it. It is uh, the end of October. So it's only been up five or six months and it's shredded. Matter of fact, it was shredded two weeks before this tent. That tent is two and a half years old. Uh, that one used to be back here with the under, you know, under the tree cover, but I guess being out in the middle and always getting sun, so that's the predicament we're in. And this one has two motorcycles, a Trans Am, Trans Am parts, motorcycle parts, a couple of fish tanks, uh, and a furnace. It's actually supposed to be a backup furnace for the garage. Whether or not it's uh, still in working order, I couldn't tell you. So we'll have to wait till we get some power somewhere. And But like I said, we're going to put some of that stuff up in the storage area just to get it under cover. And while we're at it, uh, when I went and bought the metal for the roof the other day, they had a discount on so it's called galvalume it's just it's the same as the metal regular metal roofing it's just you only bought enough from them to go around the top to cover the actual part of it i'm going to use leftover galvalume from the upholstery shop to cover the back completely and i'm going to run a stud across the back across the front about yay high and put a piece up just so it's not completely open i don't really plan to put any shelves or anything in it because I mean, why bother? I do have that mezzanine, but I might just change that, move that over there. So, just be able to have some vehicle storage. So, I had planned originally to put a lean-to on this garage, but I'm not going to do it now. So, uh, once the garage is done, I'm kind of done for now with it. And I will come back and work on do add to it later, if I need to. So... First thing, I gotta go over here and clean this area out. And what I've up. done, this is like I said, this is the area I've got. I got like 10 foot going this way. These, uh, the tent says it's advertised, because I bought them from Harbor Freight. They're advertised 10 foot by 17. They're actually like 9 foot 6, 8 inches, give or take. Why? So, what I plan to do, or what I'm gonna do, is I, I've been just throwing So, what I got here is a 10 foot, well, a couple inch over. Two by four. I'm just going to use that as my gauge so I know how far or much of this to clean out. Because uh, there's a lot of brush that was just shoved here. Keycro shoved it over here with the tractor. I'm going to have to like move it. So I don't have access to a tractor or another bobcat. So I'm going to have to do it all by hand. So I'm just going to take this. Lick. That way I know how far I've got to go. As I clear out from the back, work my way forward, just keep moving the two by clearing all this out. Now I have like 11, 12 foot all the way back. With 12, 11, 12 foot. Start moving that back. stuff over and get one of these frames for the tents over here. Rusty barrel, rusty. The uh, when I actually put not this one, but the other one. When I put that one up, it's one of the first ones I had. Uh, matter of fact, that was the first tent that I had. Uh, I put it up with this as a step step ladder because I didn't have a ladder at the time. 
I never had to work on anything that tall. So I didn't actually buy buy my first ladder around here. I had one like the, the pipe one, but obviously you need to lean on something. I used that used to use that in the other garage to get into the attic over there. So I'm gonna use it as a work surface. Get some of these uh, screws in. Great, because it's a lot easier to just go ahead and screw it while it's down here on the ground. screws in. I got two in each joint. The only ones I don't have are these ones that run this way. Only because, the only reason I don't have those currently is because of the fact that the, it'd be easier to get to the bottom once it's up in the air. So. All the pieces are screwed together. Nah, uh, I don't practice it very much, but I should really recommend to use your PPE. I uh, see that? Can you see that, right? I don't know if you can see that gnarly thing right there. Freaking screw drill got a hold of me, chewed up me up. But I'll be back. So what I got here is my studs. There's actually more than it looks like. They're all like doubled into each other. So and the reason we're doing metal studs. Kind of strange. They, I have eight footers and ten footers here. Ten footers, because I'm going to run one across the front here, and then run it up across the back to be able to cover the back wall. So, the eight footers are going to fill in the gap. I put up all the studs, uh, vertical ones, last night. Well, yesterday evening into last night. So I'm not, I'm on the last one. I'll go ahead and show right, you how this I did is, it. Uh, how it ends up looking when it's all said and done. Take one additional stud, cut it in half, make two four foot sections. I take one and notch it out an inch and a quarter like I did with the side. Take the other one and I inch, inch, notch it out inch and three quarters. Reason being, um, this one's gonna butt up to the main roof line. I'm gonna screw it up to that and knock it over a little bit. And then the other one, when it comes up on there, I'm gonna screw it up. I'm gonna fold this over and then just run one set of screws off center so that way it's not on the rig. Dusty galvanize, I guess for moisture getting in between them. It's uh, getting some oxidation on the panel, but I don't really care. I'm not building this for it looks. It's kind of off in the corner because nobody can really see it anyway. 
just to uh, I'm gonna put Trans Am in it. Then do something with the other one, with the uh, uh, the Challenger. Get it out from the rain as well. So in the meantime, like I said we got that back here. I'm not real fond of it. Those screws that uh, I'm using. Hold on a second. I'm using uh, pretty much like I'm almost what I'm using for the uh, garage. The garage, everything is all the panels are getting screwed to wood. It's getting metal, so it actually has like a self-tap end on it. But the problem is, is this these studs are like thin. Um, they actually, when you're supposed to be assembling, you're supposed to be using this weird screw with a, it's a very sharp point on the end of it, and it actually gets wider as it gets closer to the head to really like pull it in. But um, I'm using these, and I actually have one pull out over there. So it's not like a really, really tight fit. So I, I don't know. It's gonna stay like that. When it goes into the actual white frame, it it's very well, goes very well. And uh, okay, good hold. Compresses the washer and everything. If I So hopefully that'll hold that on. Put a clamp on the other side. It shouldn't go anywhere while we get it screwed in. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. Uh, that way I can go ahead and put the ridge cap on and then just go ahead and rock and roll from there. So. All right, I'm on like the third day of this. I'm gonna wrap this up today. It's gotta get done. Um, pretty much all the layout work is done. I've got the back half of the ridge cap on. I'm gonna lay the other one up there, measure it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, like peek the end of it a little bit just to give it a little, little twang. So, uh, my battery's about to die on the camera. But, so I'm, uh, like I said, I'm gonna put that up there, measure it out. The two side pieces are on. I stopped there so that way I could get the ridge cap on. The uh, only other thing left to do is the shells. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in just because if, once I finish wrapping it, I won't be able to get my drill right angle to screw into so I'm gonna throw the camera on charge and start knocking on this and I'll catch it up once the batteries are good got the ridge cap all the way up all screwed down got that cool little edge put on just to give it a nice little my little twine I'm putting a shelf stud in if as it were so I uh, I'm not really sure where my math went wrong, but I ended up with some extra studs. So now that that's a nine foot, what I'm gonna do, so I take this, I already did the front one. Just put that in there, and that in there. All I did was notch them. I put an inch and a half notch in it. Then I got some, me uh, some self tappers. it up. As you can see, 
craptastic carport is progressing quite nicely. You're asking why I got some mismatched junk here. I actually had two sheets left over, 12 foot sheets, 10 foot sheets from the upholstery shop. Thankfully, because when I got to the bottom of the pile of metal, I realized I didn't have enough metal. I only had six sheets instead of the seven they said the pile was. So, probably gonna have to go back and uh, figure something out here. But in the meantime, I don't feel like you know waiting any longer to gotta move this over. And it'd take a couple days for them to press out another piece of this stuff, so. Hi to Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hey. Andrew, tell everybody what it's like at the bottom of the honey pot. Sweet. Tell the people what we're gonna do, Andrew. I can't hear you, so I'm gonna tell the people what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut right along this dotted line we've marked here from this galvanized metal. Uh, we're basically gonna cause this to be even, so aesthetically it looks pleasing to our eyes. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna do this with a circular saw, Black & Decker, two amp saw with a blade turned backwards. It's like 12 or something. Whatever. Yeah, blade 12, turned backwards. 12.2 amps, Black & Decker saw, and it's got a, uh, it's got a laser uh, pointer. blade turned backwards. Here we go. We're not gonna bother with our safety glasses, are we? No, cause you know what? We don't give up. Big beetle. Oh, see that beetle. I think I might have stepped on him. Oh no, he's good. We want to name him Earl. We shall call him Earl. We gotta get Earl out of the way. Once Earl's out of the way, free and clear. He must be the union supervisor for today. So he shoved it over the whole building over a little bit. So there's just enough room for my freaking honor aggravating animal dogs to get through there. So other than that, it looks much gooder. So go ahead and start putting the rest of these panels up. Back from the Amish, the Amish, Machine and Amish. Anyway, brought one with us. The uh, we're kind of debating on how to make it down the road. I mean, it's not real far. Uh, 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes up, 15 minutes back, give or take. So, so uh, uh, just unloaded the little trailer, 12 and a half foot, put some boards underneath. It's gonna take it off. Wop that last piece on. Zip them bolts in it and uh, call it. We, you have to, that's the way it goes. Told you. Hold up, hold up. Wrapping up a little storage deal. Here, I see if we can widen it. Yep, yep, there, we go. there it is. It's all done. The fill fluorescent lighting. Oh, I keep hitting my head. Got a shelf here. As you see, uh, this is some leftover plywood from doing the roof on the upholstery shop. It's actually been sitting under it on a couple of pallets. So it's not all water all work. Uh, this shelf won't really hold much weight. Like I said, a couple of fenders, trunk lid or whatever, but it, all, it stiffens the building up because it squares it all up better. 
a lot. There's one over here in the front. See the light sitting on it. So the light's not mounted or nothing. I don't plan to put a light in here. I say that, but it's just so I can uh, show you guys. Wrap up this episode. Thanks for staying much. along, sticking with the video. It's nice to take a break from building my garage by building another garage. This thing is wrapped up, done. So, don't forget to like, so you can uh, like my videos, subscribe so you can catch more of them in the next build I do. Probably be more episodes on the garage, at least until it's completely covered in metal. And get back to playing with cars and hot rods and boats. And I'm getting tired of building stuff at the moment. Garage wise. Boats. So. Later.